Increase the volume syringe to 4 liters by moving the locking collar on the plunger bar of the volume syringe to the 4 liter mark. Perform the next five tests at this setting, remembering to allow adequate time for the gas analysis and computation at the end of each in the series. Then, change the locking collar to 5 liters and perform the final five tests of the middle range gas. At this point, you should have 15 tests completed, and more if any that you performed had a breath hold time outside the acceptable parameters. Before beginning the next phase of your testing, use the flush wrench to turn off the simulation gas, turning the valve clockwise. Then, remove the pressure regulator from the middle range cylinder, or whichever gas you used for the first series of tests. Being careful not to damage the inlet pins, align the pressure regulator's yoke inlet with the high-range gas cylinder valve outlet. Once the pressure regulator is in position, tighten the yoke handle to make sure that it is sealed. Using the wrench again, turn the gas on, flush the standardized gas syringe, then continue with the simulation testing. Set the locking collar of the volume syringe's plunger to 3 liters. Prepare EasyLab QC for the next series of tests making sure that the correct gas values are set for computing. Turn the three-pronged valve counterclockwise, pointing the arrows to the volume syringe and the main port. Press the black button valve, filling the standardized gas syringe to 2.3 liters. Perform four tidal breaths with the volume syringe plunger with the final breath leaving the plunger all the way out. Push the plunger all the way in to the point at which the locking collar meets the volume syringe's canister. Pull the plunger all the way out in one stroke. Leave the volume syringe plunger pulled all the way out for a breath hold of 10 seconds. Then, turn the large valve, valve 1, clockwise, connecting the standardized gas syringe to the main port. Push the small syringe plunger all the way in. Wait as the gas is analyzed and computations run. Once completed, repeat the high-range testing, performing a total of five tests with a volume of 3 liters, 5 at 4 liters, and 5 at 5 liters. Ensure the breath hold times are within the acceptable range. If they are, you've now completed the simulation tests for middle and high DL ranges. If you will be testing a third simulator test gas, repeat the process as defined for the second series of tests. Then, turn off the gas as the final stage of the DLCO simulation testing is done. You've prepared the simulator for testing, done a trial run of the testing, and finally, the testing itself. Now would be a good time to take a break and review what you've learned. Prior to each testing session, flush the standardized gas syringe three to five times. Also, flush the syringe whenever you change the test gases. Allow no more than 2.3 liters of gas in the standardized gas syringe. Verify that all environmental and DLCO device configuration settings recorded are accurate. Ensure breath hold times during testing are between 9 and 11 seconds. Enter data from the first tests performed into the EasyLab QC program prior to continuing with the testing.